guys, how's it going? So I had another video that I planned on uploading tonight, but I came across some technical difficulties, so I decided to switch gears and finally get this side rail mount for optics to fit on my AK. Now when I bought this originally, I bought it from Amazon, and it was very cheap, and to my, to my uh, discovery, the cheap price was because this company, Gun Tech USA, that made this, they went out of business, so they were just trying to sell off all their stock while they still could. <laughs> so, it didn't fit, and I gave up on it right away. I didn't try to modify it or anything like that, because the iron sights were working fine for me. But, I knew all it needed was just a little bit of filing and sanding to get a nice, loose, not super loose, but snug fit. Right now I got it to slide all the way on, but you have to force it on, and then to get it out, you have to hammer it out. So I just need to sand and file a little bit more off of there, and then this thing should be working fine. Okay, so what I've been doing to get this thing to fit is it's the 45 degree angle little clamp spots, like right there, 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 and there, that are holding it up. So I can see they were just digging into right here. There wasn't enough space. So I'm guessing on all these AKs, there must be just a very slight difference in the thickness of the side rail. And this is an American-made AK. It's been a Riley Defense. So maybe that's why. I'm guessing maybe if this was a Yugoslavian, a Czechoslovakian, or a Russian-made, or even a Polish-made AK, there wouldn't be any issues. But I don't know that. That's just that's just my guess. So, but with this rally defense, it would not budge. It just was not enough play for it to slide on. The only time I the first time I got it to slide on was after filing it and sanding it for a little bit, and then it still didn't fit all the way. I had to force it on with my hands and then hit it with a hammer. So you saw I was just using the 45 degree angle file. Now I'm switched over to, I got some 3M, some 320 grit sandpaper, just to kind of smooth things out a little bit. And you just basically want to get all the sections I got before right there, as well as knock the sharp edges off right there, and on all the edges basically. And then it should be ready to go. So I'll go ahead and finish sanding this up, and I will come back and show you what the finished product looks like. Okay, so I spent about 10 more minutes sanding down the inside and filing it down, and I think I've got it to the perfect position now. It's been sliding on and off and locking with the lever, so let's go ahead and slide that on. See, very little effort to get it on and then move this latch over to lock it in place it's not coming loose so that is good to go got our side mount on our AK-47 now let's unlock it and see if it still comes off smoothly yep it's as easy as that alright I'll go ahead and throw an optic on there and show you guys what it looks like and mission accomplished All right, well there it is in all of its glory. Got a reflex sight attached to it. I'm excited to take this thing shooting. Because I originally bought this mount before I had even gotten my pro seat on this AK. So I was planning on using this the whole time. But once it didn't fit and I came to really like and appreciate the iron sights that it came with. I just kind of scrapped the whole project and it's been sitting in a drawer for over a year now, so I'm glad. Just a little technical issue on one of my videos inspired me to try something different and try something that I wanted to do. There it is from the other side without the rail. See how that looks. But yeah, I'm definitely happy with it and all it did was take a little bit of elbow grease, just a little sanding and filing to modify it to fit to this particular side rail, and it was good to go. Well, thanks for watching. 
Don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe and check out some more of my content I got coming out soon. One of which is a, a disassembly cleaning procedure video for the RAK47 Classic, which will carry over to any AK platform because they're pretty much all the same. Just a slight variant here and there. So look out for that. That should be coming out in the next week or two. And yeah, I'm going to get this thing zeroed in and take my AK shooting with an optic for the first time, so that's exciting. So I'm sure there'll be a video on that too. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your weekend and have a good night. Thank you.